Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool set of awesome mods today. And these mods are called the BSPKRS Core Mod, the Armor Status HUD Mod, the Directions HUD Mod, and the Status Effect HUD Mod for Minecraft 1.7.2. These are three awesome mods that are so amazing that I'm considering adding them to SCM owned server once it is released. Anyways guys, this modder is the same creator as in the Tree Capitator Mod, the mod that allows you to destroy trees really quickly in a really effective way. So guys, I am right here inside this server. What is this server? It's actually an alpha build of SCM owns server what I mean by that is I'm just testing around with the uh, alpha build of it we're just messing around messing around with worlds and uh, let's just go ahead and explore right here I'm in the middle of a hunger game well it's not actually a hunger game it's an NPC game so if you notice at the very top of my screen I have some uh, some sort of compass so every time I rotate my character you can see that it rotates as well so this right here is north and it actually shows you what direction you're facing north is right here northeast east southeast south southwest and west over here so this right here is the first demonstration of what this mod adds in it is the directions HUD mod it just shows you what direction you're facing and it shows the compass at the very top instead of pressing F3 and looking for the coordinates right here and all this messy text and stuff you could just simply install this mod and it'll show you what direction you're facing so if you tell your friend, hey dude, I'm heading south, so uh, follow me in the Hunger Games, and your friend has the same mod installed, you guys know exactly where you guys are going because it shows a compass. So now I'm heading south, and let's just come over here because I noticed that there was some sort of enemy earlier, so if we just continue on over here, there is an enemy right there, guys. If you guys don't see him, then you guys need to expand this window and put it on 1080p or something like that. I don't think I render my videos in 1080p. So another thing that this mod adds in is if I hold a sword or item, at the very bottom left corner of my screen, it's going to show how much uses you have left of it. So if you're holding a flint and steel, either a sword, a shovel, anything you want, some sort of tool that has durability, it'll show you how much durability you have on it. It also works for modded items as well. So if you have a modded sword, it'll show you how much durability you have left. So every time you swing and break something with it, then the durability will go down. So you saw that I just broke a block and it just went down to 58. So instead of just guessing how much durability points you have left, now it shows you at the bottom left corner of the screen. So now with this information, let's go over there and kill the guy. Wait, he found me. All right, here we go. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, all right, he almost killed me. All right, so there we, there we go. I have killed him and now I have 56 durability points left with my wooden sword. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and check out what the armor status HUD mod does. Inside this chest should have armor, and it does. So I'm going to put this armor on, and immediately, you're going to see in the bottom left corner of my screen, it's going to show the durability points. It shows 166 for the helmet, and it shows a lot for the chest, and it just shows you how much uh, durability points you have left. So just in case you jump off a tree, for an example, if I jump off this tree, it should go down. Actually, it didn't go down. Uh, armor is only affected by swords or uh, battle damage. That's what I believe it is. So eventually when you see me fighting other monsters, you'll see that um, the points will go down throughout this video. So let me go ahead and change the time so we can see everything uh, correctly. And that right there is the armor status HUD. It just shows you your status of your armor without really pressing E and looking at your little durability bar. So now let's come over here, guys. And there might be a monster around the corner. Might oh, yes, there is. Ugh. Alright, so if you guys notice, I took a lot of uh, damage, and you see that my armor is actually getting hurt. You see that it's going down. So inside this chest is a bow, and we have ourselves some arrows. So even when holding a bone and an arrow, it'll show you how much ammunition you have left, which is 31, and it'll show you your durability for the bow. So if I get rid of one of these arrows, now it'll show that I have 30 left. So that is really awesome. Instead of, uh, you know, looking in your inventory and seeing your arrows scattered everywhere because you killed a lot of skeletons, now it just wraps it all up and shows you how much you have left. So you don't have to have it in your hotbar anymore. So how about we just come up here, guys? Let's just do this. Let's parkour around here, go on top of this tree, and let's just use this bow. There's an enemy right there, so let's kill him. And, uh, oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, wait, there's one right there. Uh, yes. All right, so how about we continue on? Wait a minute. Do you guys see that? Whoa, he's camouflaged with the castle in the background. You guys did not notice that. So if I kill him, there he goes. Oh, that could have killed me, guys. So luckily I have a, you know, what they say, a wolf eye. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm a wolf. There's another chest. So if I pick up this chest, let's see what's inside here. Oh, there's some splash potions. So this mod also introduces static effects. So if I grab all these, 
then I can place them down on the floor and you'll see that if I throw this on the floor it shows at the very right corner of my screen it says regeneration and it shows you how much you have left so instead of pressing E and looking here and noticing that your enemies behind you and just kills you when you're pressing E looking at your, all your buffs well then that would suck but now you don't have to worry about that because it shows your uh, your status effect right here in the very right of your screen so if I open this up now I can place down uh, night vision and it'll show night vision as long as uh, regeneration and plus it'll start to blink when the re regeneration is about to go away Oh, that is awesome. So let's see what other buffs we have. We have poison and we have slowness. We don't really need these ones, guys, um, because that's really going to hurt me. Actually, let's just try poison. Let's just do this. All right. So now I am poisoned and it shows that I am poisoned. So how about we get rid of all the buffs using milk? All right. So now the buffs are gone. And how about we grab some speed? And how about we head over there? Because I see some sort of creature over there. Look at that, guys. Are you guys ready to fight that? Well, let's go ahead and get started. This is for the mod. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I could kill that thing with my wooden sword. All right, here I go. I'm running. I have five minutes of speed. Let's do this. This is pretty cool. Here we go. Let's kill this monster. Hopefully, we can kill him. If he kills me, that's going to be embarrassing. But let's kill this monster. Uh, just like an SCM owned server when there was dragons everywhere and you guys had to fight them and there was boss waves and everything. Look how huge this dragon is. Oh, my gosh. And since my sword shows, shows my durability, it won't really break easily because I know exactly how many points is being deducted because of this mod is awesome. So let's kill this bat. Never mind, he ran away. That bat is going to go and tell the other dragons what happened. Oh no, he's coming back. I'm going to kill the messenger. <sighs> yes, I killed him. Alright guys, so that is basically it about this mod. I just showed you every example this mod has to offer, such as the compass. We're heading south towards the dragon. It also adds in um, the durability where you're able to see the durability at the bottom left corner of your screen. It also shows your armor status and your potion. So when you're holding, uh, when you have potion effect on, it'll show you how much you have left in seconds. All right, guys. So if you guys did enjoy this mod, be sure to smash that like button. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys want this mod in SCM own server, I could kindly ask the mod creator to add it to SCM own server, ask some permission and, um, We'll see if we can add this to SCM own server. So be sure to post a comment, leave a like. Let's go ahead and aim for 1,000 like, guys. If you guys could hit 1,000 likes, I would really appreciate that. Uh, all throughout all my mod reviews, the growth craft, the casino mod, we haven't really reached the 1,000 like goal, and uh, it has. It's been a while since we reached 1,000 likes. So let's see if we can hit 1,000 like, guys. Let's do it for old time sakes. Let's do this. And uh, anyways, if you guys are interested in this mod, you guys want to know how to install this mod, well then, let's go ahead and see how to install this mod. This mod is very easy to install. Let's do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is very easy to install, so we shouldn't have ourselves any issues. So what you guys are going to do is get the downloads in my description or click on the annotation around this video and get the latest downloads. This is for Minecraft 1.7.2. For the latest versions, you have to check out the Forge. I mean the Forum, not the Forge. So anyways, guys, um, you don't have to download all the downloads. If you don't want the compass, get rid of the directions HUD. If you guys don't want the status effect, then get rid of that. It doesn't really matter what you add in, but you need the BSPKRS core in order to run any of this stuff. Okay, so get the downloads, and once you're ready, drag it all here to the desktop in which you can see it better, and you're gonna get Minecraft Forge Installer 1.7.2, the core, the directions, the status, and the armor if you really want to. So before you install this mod, you have to download Minecraft 1.7.2. So in order to do that, you're gonna run Minecraft's launcher. So double click Minecraft's launcher, give it some time, you're gonna download Minecraft 1.7.2 because Forge needs it. So we're going to go here to our profile, select our username, go here to edit profile, then go down here to use versions and you're going to find release 1.7.2. Once you have found release 1.7.2, click save profile and then press play. Once you have done that, uh, the launcher should be able to download Minecraft 1.7.2 and there you go. So once you have downloaded that, click quick game. So now let's install Forge. So in order to install Forge, you just get the download and double click the application. It's going to come up with this mod system installer. Click here on install client and press OK. Give it some time and then eventually you're going to come up with this message saying complete. After that, you just press OK and you're good with Forge. You have installed Forge. Now let's install all of these mods. It's very simple. You're just going to drag it all into your mods folder. So let's go ahead and locate our .minecraft folder. Come down here to the bottom left corner of our screen where it says start. You're going to search the program file percent app data percent so once you uh, search percent up to the percent row up here at the very top you're going to see the roaming folder click on that roaming folder and you should see right here at the very top dot minecraft go into the dot minecraft folder and since you already installed forge all you need to do is make yourself a new folder so click new folder and make it 
mods. Call the folder mods, M-O-D-S and press enter. So once you make the mods folder inside the .minecraft folder, go into that mods folder and simply drag over all of the mods, the, the core, the direction, status, and armor, all the mods, into the mods folder, and that's it. That is basically it on how to install the mod, guys. It's very simple. Go ahead and click uh, exit. Go ahead and launch Minecraft. Give it, to, uh, give it some time. And uh, right after that, you're going to go here to profile. Click forge. It's going to ask you to log back in, or you can simply press play. Now press play again. And there you go. Select Profile Forge and you should be able to run Minecraft Forge 1.7.2. It should say about like six mods are loaded or probably even seven. I don't really know. You shouldn't get yourself a black screen. For me, it shows a black screen and uh, that, that just got fixed right away. And it shows seven mods have been loaded. If you go here to the mods list, you could see that you have the core, you have the status, you have everything else. And also, if you want to disable a mod, all you really have to do is click on the mod and you click disable. And that's how to get rid of the mod. Actually, I'm not sure if that works. Don't don't click disable. That's crazy. So um, you could probably config some mods. Oh, look at that. You're able to config mods. Well, you don't have to really worry about that, guys. But uh, that is basically it about the mod. That's how you install it. And hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And be sure to check out Ownage Network. Be sure to check out everything I got going uh, for you guys. Check the description for any information. What do I, what I use to edit my videos. What, to, what I use to record them. And all that other great stuff, uh, check out Loot Crate, all my other videos if you guys are still watching. And thanks for everything. I'll see you guys in the next mod review. Peace.